a very nice find, some 1990s shinder lifts. Down here, all is good. But up here, what have they done? It's a bit like going into Buckingham Palace, cutting off all the chandeliers and fitting LED downlights instead. Some things are just supposed to be left as they are. Later, we'll see if these lifts have or have not been modernized when we visit the motor room. The fourth floor is taped off as there is building work going on. Anyone who dares press the buttons behind the tape can still go Please to the floor. Mind the doors. Doors These display panels need a closer look. There is a bulb and an orange filter in front of the arrow. Quite simple really. I'm hoping to get a far closer look at these panels later in the year. This is a sub-basement, more classic Schindler panels. Here is the main lift lobby. On the left, the Schindler lifts and on the right some brand new Kone lifts. I'm not really into filming modern day lifts unless they tick one of my criteria. Which in this case is the something out of the ordinary category. How can you see which car calls have been selected? These buttons light up so dimly that it's very difficult to see what's lit and what isn't. Now goods lifts around the back of buildings are normally quite old, but this is not quite original. While we travel into the basement, notice how long it takes after the basement is shown on the display until the lift actually starts to slow down and stop. Sometimes it's like, are we going to stop or crash into the basement? The way the Express Lift Company designed their lifts was the same and it used to terrify me as a kid as the display would change really early and then it would take ages for the lift to arrive at the floor.
diverting sheep there. 